Got the goods. Welcome to Greenville. <laughs> <laughs> we made it yeah, to man. Greenville. Yeah. You this is your vlog. I'm just <laughs> We made it to Greenville. Oh, hang on, I wasn't ready. We made it to Greenville. <laughs> that was really weird. So we made it to Greenville late last night. Very late last night. It was supposed to be okay, it was supposed to be an eight hour drive um total for us. And we did stop for about two and a half hours, but it took us like 13, over 13 hours to get here because there were so many delays, so much traffic. I wanted <laughs> to stay on highways that had good like data because I had a mastermind call and then we had a coaching call and I wanted to make sure that we could actually stop and do it. And there was a route that was gonna be like a lot of back roads, but it was like 10 minutes less than staying on the highways. And Google kept, kept trying to route us to that. And I didn't wanna do that, so we stayed on the highway Ways, but we had literally like at least six or seven slowdowns. Mm, We're yeah. at 20 minutes each time. Obviously more than that because it added like three hours to our drive. So it's like 11 hours of driving. What do you think? <laughs> Got anything else to say about that? No, um, but next time we're gonna stick with google yeah on the way back we're gonna take google's route and not try to do our own route so today is kind of a rainy ish actually it was supposed to be really rainy but i don't think it's gonna be too it rainy look bad out there. yeah um i think the rain's gonna clear up soon so uh, but we're probably just gonna do more like shopping and we want to go to a coffee shop and like stuff like that first while we are um well it's a day that like is not as nice He's out waving the camera back and forth <laughs> i know <laughs> so i think we're gonna go do more like indoor stuff i don't know you want to really go to have a, few a plan boutiques and yeah, yeah. coffee shop and yeah and coffee shop maybe a couple clothing yeah. stores so we're gonna go <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna go do some fun things and i'll show you guys Is it good? Mm, that's really good. I'm gonna do one where I'm like skipping. Okay. Gosh. Okay, ready. I don't Here. know. <laughs> Let's see if that turned out. Yeah, that's actually really cool. Wow. Okay. Oh, that's cute. I like it. Yeah. Thanks, baby. Yeah. So if you follow me on Instagram, you probably saw that earlier this year, Michael and I actually went to Raleigh, North Carolina, and we found this place, like our Airbnb is right by this place called Pelicans, and it's not snow cones, it's not Italian ice, it's called snow balls. I don't even know how to describe how it's different. It's not, it's a snow cone. 
It's the same thing as a snow cone? It's the same thing me, as a snow cone. It, I feel like the texture is a little different, though. That the syrup doesn't just, yeah. like, fall to the bottom. You know? Like, when you have snow cones and all the syrup is just, like, at the bottom and then the top is kind of, like, not very... I mean, I think all places strive for, like, the best powder, but... Yeah. I think they just have really great machines is all. But I think yeah. they'd still consider it a snow cone. Yeah, it's basically a snow cone. But the syrup but, in the cup. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. They're giant. Yeah. And we realized there's some here in Greenville, so we're gonna go get some. We had to drive from where we were. We were in Simpsonville, and we have to drive like 30 minutes, like up north of Greenville. But I'm just like really feeling it. I'm so excited. Are you excited? Oh yeah, I love it. It's really good. They have bubble gum, and I love bubble gum. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna ask if you have a favorite flavor. Yeah, bubble gum. Bubble gum. Bubble gum. I like blue raspberry. Wait, actually, I don't remember though the flavors I liked. There were two flavors by the end yeah, of it, were. like that I really liked. I think you liked bubble gum too, didn't you? I don't remember. I'll have to look. I'm gonna look back at photos. Mango. Because um, I got at... bubble gum and something else every time. But what was my something else? I don't know. Maybe it'll come. I to might us. have liked the coconut. Was it that? Oh, was it? There was coconut, blue raspberry. Okay, so the first time we got it, I got these two, and I know there was a flavor. Oh, orange. Cr orange dreamsicles. Dreamsicle. Yeah. yeah. I loved the dreamsicle, and then I think I switched out the other flavor every time. So, wait, let me look at a picture of the last, because I know by the last time, I was like, okay, I feel like I got what I really like. They have weird flavors. Yeah. Like, what are all the, we'll have to name some of the weird flavors. They have like a hundred something flavors. Yeah, okay, so I know I like dreamsicle. I guess I'll just figure something else out. That is so gross. How is it? Delicious. Good? Yeah. I got dreamsicle and coconut. What'd you get? Bubble gum and guava. Yum. So we got a few things. We got lotion. Is it focusing? Yep. This one is orange and lemongrass, and this one is lavender and lemongrass. They smell amazing. I wish you could smell them, but I can't really smell them. <laughs> and then we got juices because we weren't going to make it back really for lunch. So these are kind of our lunch until we can get back. So what? how would you pronounce that? Kuka juice? Yeah made here, so we got um, unbeatable with beet, kale, green apple, lemon, ginger, and beet greens. Michael drank that one. I had peachy keen, which is peach, pineapple, green apple, and basil. It was really good. I wanted to try, the, it had like a strawberry one, but they were out, so. And then, we got fresh peaches, which I'm very excited about. They're not very ripe yet, but I think that's good, because then we'll have peaches when we get home, and they'll start ripe. That's all. We just got back from the pool and yeah, when we travel, our hotel is basically a hot mess. We don't care at all about keeping it clean. 
Um, but you can probably, you probably saw, so I am actually wearing this swimsuit from Evie Swim. Um, if you don't know who she is, if you don't follow her, she is so sweet and she just came out with these swimsuits really recently. So I'll be sure to drop a link below so you guys can check them out if you want. I also want to tell you about a couple other things. So I also um, got this sunscreen from Beauty Counter and I've been loving it. This, it smells amazing. And the reason I love it is it doesn't have a lot of the same um, chemicals that a lot of normal sunscreens have. And yeah, I've been really liking it. Um, I really appreciate, obviously nothing is going to be completely natural or completely free of any sort of like chemical or whatever, but um, this one just is a really, really good alternative to a lot of the sunscreens that you might use that I definitely used to use. So yeah, super great option there. Um, and then I also just started reading this book. It's not supposed to be this way by Lisa Turkhurst and I, love it it's just really applicable to uh, where i'm at right now and if you're someone who's going through like disappointment or anything like that um this book is seriously so good especially if you're a, a believer and um you are pursuing god in your life really really good book i just finished filming that and realized i still had a bunch of like sunscreen smudged on my nose so you're welcome. Um, but I also wanted to say it's actually 4th of July today. So Michael and I are hoping to kind of finish out our trip. There is like Greenville it them themselves. Um, Greenville itself is not um, doing like a 4th of July parade or fireworks or anything like that. But they are or there is like a suburb of Greenville called Simpsonville that is doing it's like a concert like this big park and then there's going to be fireworks after. So uh, we're actually hoping to go maybe towards the end so that we can listen to some of the music and then see the fireworks. We're hoping the traffic's not too bad. But yeah, happy late 4th of July because you're probably going to see this at least a couple of weeks later. But yeah, we are super excited to celebrate. I actually really love this holiday. It's probably my favorite like summertime holiday or like warm weather holiday. And then Christmas is definitely my favorite, favorite holiday. But I do really love 4th of July. Just, you know, for everyone else who's in America, happy 4th of July. I um, just, am just super grateful to live in such an amazing country and to have a day where we can celebrate that. That was awesome. Yeah, that was so cool.